Nice to see you. I heard story about you all the way. Here. Ah, good story. Good story. Good story. <laughs> Wonderful. And this is cheese and mushroom sauce. Yeah, Elan. Yeah, and a potato dish. Okay. Ciabatta and salad. All right, I just uh, like to use this opportunity to um, to welcome our guests, Tim and Jan from uh, Apple Valley, California, here to Sunny Mount and. Uh, me and Vicky are very pleased to have you here as our guests with your professional hunters, uh, Nikas and, and Super. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this, oh. this time with us and make yourselves at home. And, and we will do our best from, from, from our side to make you feel comfortable. Bye, Doug. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is a new day on the 4th of May, new camp, we're going to start with uh, buffalo hunting today at a uh, new area from us, so hopefully we can uh, bump a couple of nice bulls, we know there's some big bulls in here, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, double huntings. And so we have a new uh, page with us. An old peach, but the new one in camp. Nikas van Rensburg. Nikas, welcome. Thank you, Super. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm thrilled to be here. It's absolutely beautiful lodgings. Um, I'm we're mostly looking for a buffalo, uh, maybe a sable, maybe a zebra. Maybe a copper spring rock. We'll just see what the bush provides and take what we think is comfortable. So maybe a, that, that nice drop. Yes, if okay. they're, Yeah, we got plenty of time. We're kind of known for that here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, did you see that nice one super shot the previous safari here? Yes. It, yes. It, it, it has a, yeah. That's an amazing buffalo. Yesterday night I said to Super if we can get one like that with a drop. Right. It will be perfect because yes. that's an old gnarly right. bull. That's scratches on his yeah. face. I like the, yes. the old look. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm just asking him if there's old, old eland bulls with short, thick horns yeah. and no hair. He says we'll see a couple. Okay. I don't think this is one of yours. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. The one on the uh, the one in the middle is still very young. It's got a nice drop and it's wide. Uh -huh. It's some. Yeah. It's a. It's. It's. Mm -hmm. He's going to be 42 plus. Both the middle and the right. Uh -huh. The one on the the, the right right. The the hardest bull, but it, it's not the character you're looking at. No. It's just. It's. It's a. It's amazing bull. Oh. Wide. He is and wide. flat, but just flat. Not the drop. No drops. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a big bull at the back. Yeah. Here's a monster bull at the back. Whoa, he's got a nice drop. If that thing is hard, that's your bull. 
If that thing is hot, that's your bull. That's a monster. Look at that neck on that thing. Whoa. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. That's a bull. That's a bull. Yeah, I think we must get off here. Okay. And just go closer and, and see. The sun is bad. I just want to see yeah. if it's rock art, but that's a monster. Okay. You can see the body. Yeah. The totally bind. different than in any of the others. Yeah. Four, 450, 400, three inch by Kriekhoff. He had the stock measured for me. Uh, right now I have two softs in both barrel, a soft in each barrel. Let's just leave them to relax. Okay. We'll drive around, maybe spot another one and then uh, see what happens. Oh, it's gorgeous. There are every kind of terrain you can imagine. You've got bush felled at the bottom. You've got bushes and trees up here for the bigger animals. The views are magnificent. The animals are healthy and plentiful. Fantastic, just fantastic so far. Oh, 
140 grain Swiss Scirocco. That's beautiful to look. About 3,000 feet per second. Stop. Yeah, nice. So here's what we're doing. Um, despite the fact that I used to be a soldier, always having a weapon, and I had a professional hunter who always has a weapon, we forgot to put the rifle on top of the truck today. So we are stopped here fixing that and we're getting the rifle out in case we see that jackal that we just saw up there and uh, we're gonna give it a go. I would love to get a jackal. See that, you see that grassy spot mm -hmm. over there? That's where we, I saw those eland bulls right in that grass over there. It's like a, look at all the river curving around here. Lots of water here. Nice reed buck. Found? Mountain, that's your mountain reed buck. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, gonna walk a bit, see if we can find a buffalo that lives in this area. This is Olfella. He's the game manager of Sandy Mount Park. He's gonna join us, and maybe he's gonna give us some luck to find this big boy over here. Go and have a look. Well, he's not here. <laughs> I didn't see a lot of fresh tracks on top here. I guess he's not home. Yeah. Let's go back and see where we saw them yesterday. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find it. Today is the, the 5th of May, sixth day of hunting. We're up on the highest point over here. We're gonna see if we can. There's a lone dugger boy living in this area. We spotted some giraffe, gemsbuck, waterbuck, eland, gems, uh, steamback. 
So we're going to go and walk down this, just to lookout point and see if we can not pick up that dugger boy walking in this area. Get the the buffalo bull. Uh, come stand here. Okay. On that ridge you see a grass, little grass spot. Right on the ridge. Okay. He's inside that grassy spot, right on top of that ridge. He's facing to the right. Well, lekker man, lekker. Ik moet zeker dan niet af. Ja. Onder blij en weer zo gaan. Ja. When we go down, we stay down at the bottoms of all these ridges. Mm -hmm. To stay out of sight, because he's got elevation. Yeah, yeah. So when he got the elevation, I think we just stay in zigzag. Lots of animals between us and him. Watch your steps. 
Shoot again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Put down your gun. I hit him on the point of the left shoulder. Reload. Soft. Yes, sir. That shot felt good. Okay, let's go. Fella? Fella, you get a shot, you take the shot. Yes. Okay. Dead buffalo, that's all we care about. He's lumping. Huh? He's lumping. You can see he's lumping. I don't know about those those two shots. I shot at what I could see. Okay, put in solids. Okay. I'm telling him he must, the sticks must be clear. He, he can't pick up the gun on the shoulder. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Shoot him. <laughs> Turned right. It is steep, yes, so you'll, you'll go, you'll try okay. to go around. Back to Rakski. He was going and I was leading, and then he turned, so I, maybe yes, maybe no. I saw a dust fly, sir. You hit it, uh, at least once.
bunch up there. I don't want to go into that stuff. I don't want you to go into that stuff. Let's leave him for five or ten minutes now. Okay. There's a lot of blood even on the branches at the bottom. We're gonna get him. Yeah. Let him settle down. We know he's bleeding. It's easier for us to track now as well. Yeah, yeah. Wait for him to stand up. Wait for him to stand up, okay? I think he's dead. No, no he's not. He's facing us. I shot him right underneath the chin. Okay, perfect. Reloading. Reloading. Solid. Take a soft as well. That was exciting. Okay, he's not dead yet. Let's go around this way to get on top of him. So it's, <coughs> okay, so he's got an angle to come. inches you see the point of the ear yeah. just go seven, six seven inches to the right of the ear watch out for the horn that shot will be right over there that is it You can clean the guns. What the morning we had. We got up on this big mountain on the back side of us. And a um, fellow told me, he said, in this specific area, an old Dugger boy lives. They only see him always far off, but never can get close to him. And while we stopped to have a glass with the binos and see if we can find it, I picked him up here on the last hill here, lying on a nice open spot. So we got our stuff packed and uh, we had a nice stalk. It actually, we had water buck between us, Gems Buck Mountain, Reed Buck. And as we got close, the water buck ran behind him, so I think that got him awake and uh, spooky. And then fella saw him moving through the brush, and we got in front of him. I saw him. He knew we were there, but I think don't think he actually knew we were what we were. So I had a good look at him. I said, "It's a good bull." Yeah, 
slow stalk from there on. Very, very, very slow. See if we can pick him up and yeah, the next moment I hear and you guys pointed and he was on the left side and I was looking on the right side, feeding out of a bush, sticks up. I wonder if there was 20 yards, the shot. Yeah, and then the shot went. The shot was a little bit low, but broke the leg. And I think it's about mile, mile and a half later. We got another shot, it was better down under the tree, jumped up, ran. I got two shots in and he bedded down, we left him a little bit and we came out slowly, slowly and I spotted him and as he got up I told Tim, wait for him to get up and when he got up Tim made a perfect shot and he dropped right over here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> incredible bull, uh, incredible stalk. The, uh, the final moments, uh, bull stood up and faced straight to us. And just like all the, all the reading and whatnot, he'd, he'd gone in a thick bush. Super very wisely decided that he, we wouldn't stay right on the blood. We'd loop down um, because we knew the bull would be standing or would be facing back the way he came if he was lying down. And he was. Magnificent bull. Exactly what I came looking for. Uh, old bull. True dug -a boy covered in mud. He'd been living up on this ridge God knows how long. And uh, what a magnificent hunt. I, I can't thank the professional hunters enough. I can't thank Martin enough. Um, they're true professionals, great trackers, brave men. Um, very, 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 very grateful for this day, this animal and the people who were, were, were here with us, and me. <laughs> so this is truly our bull. Well done. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you. Your buffalo? You may touch my buffalo. Our buffalo. Oh, look at it. Chunks. He's got a bunch of 470 bullets. Oh, I bet. Oh, that is fantastic. What a day we had. Yes, we did. We just want to congratulate you on a very good day and a beautiful buffalo you got. Thank you. And, um, yeah, I don't have any words. <laughs> so, um, let's say grace. And fellow again, thank you for your support as well today. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and everybody oh, yeah. for recovering it. And uh, hey, let's say grace. For what we're about to receive, please make us truly thankful. Amen. 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 Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. It goes like this. This is Corinos. Okay. All right. I'll put it there for you. Sit them up just to the You see like that? Oh Jesus! There you go. One, two, three. <laughs> One down. Yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. <laughs> <coughs> you didn't burp, you remember? <laughs> Put down your nostril. One, two, three! <laughs> <coughs> you must take it all down to your fucking nose. <laughs> and you also didn't do a burp, huh? Ah. Uh, nose go. <laughs> One, two, three, now go down.
Yeah. It opens up that nostril. Like yeah. You don't have sinus for three weeks now. <laughs> it goes all the way to the pretenures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> buffalo soldier. It happens in the camp when you hunt buffalo. <laughs> Small one. I'll give you a small one. Plain <laughs> biggie, okay? Plain biggie. Stuff. Stuff. Of all the bad things I've done in my life, I've never done stuff. So, hey man. First like you're not. You chewed. That was bad. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I guess I am. On the best buffalo hunt you'll ever had. Yeah. For this year. Yeah. For this year. Okay. Until the next one. Fuck to Papa. One, two, snip. Whoa! Do I have to be crazy? Yeah. You know what you even make? You can't have no cock. Holy shizer. Oh, I knew we were gonna line up there. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's it. I, I knew it's we were gonna line up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Yeah, some okay. Sprite also. I did. Oh, just <laughs> checking. How many days of your life do you get to see a big Buffalo Bull stand up? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> morning guys uh, this is day three we re out real early this morning yesterday Jan's husband got a beautiful buffalo uh, real brute of a tank so we decided to get out real early see if we can spot the buffaloes basking in the Sun and uh, see if we can get on to one of them His ears are still completely black. Yeah. And I'm not sure he's hard all the way. No, I don't think he's hard all the way. It's newborn. Okay. Your animals bed down when it rains? They won't, yeah, they won't or be does that. It rain. No, they, I think they'll still graze. They'll it's not that cold. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not that cold. But they won't move around a lot. They'll okay. like, be stationary. But okay. I don't think they're just gonna. The buffalo won't just bed down. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can see my car. Jan. Thank you. Thank you. nice food, teacher. Oh. Get the money back.
It's been a slow, cold morning, yeah. wet morning. Yeah. But with this heat now and the rain that passed, we might get get on onto them. Just keep looking. He bedded down looking that way. So the plan is we're going to drive up all the way onto that grass as high as possible. Okay. Walk right up to the reach line. Okay. So we have high ground on the bull. Okay. The wind is pushing nicely. Okay. And if we can get to one of those big trees, we're going to be in range. Yeah. Okay. He bedded down right beneath him. Let's put one more in. Put one more in on the shoulder for me. Good, he's done. He's done. Okay, reload fast. Put it in, put it in, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's just wait on him. He's not dead, let's just wait on him.
a look. You see that sh first shot that you shot on the follow-up? It was in the back. Yeah, look this how one perfect is that. And this is your other one? My, my first. Perfect. perfect. Out. Out. But he's in. This is the old bull. You said you're looking for an old bull, and that's a beautiful drop Look at that on that side. Rock, rock, rock hard bull. The perfect old dugger bull. Look at that ear. Look at this ear. This is a tank. This is a tank. Oh, it's <laughs> I really like you. But here he is in all his glory. Yes. This is now a real dagger ball. It is. Broken tip. Yes. The drop you wanted. Feel how smooth yes, this is. It cannot be any harder. Look at this neck. And it's the bull they took the photos of. Is it? It's that bull. The short left. Yeah, the short left. So you got photos of him okay. while he was alive. Yes. And Super is going to be so angry because he wanted to get give <laughs> this bull to Tim. <laughs> the first morning they came here. Well, trying, we'll look at him every day. Trying to get it. Yep. We sneaked up on you. Yeah. We, well, we started off early. It was looking cloudy and kind of overcast. Wasn't, we weren't sure what the weather was going to turn into, but we knew where we wanted to look. So we started scouting around to see what we could find. And then we had rain behind us and sun in front of us, the sun coming up beautifully in the morning and a full rainbow that just framed the Baki and all of us. It, it was a joyful sight to behold. <laughs> and it, I, it brought us luck. And all I wanted was a good Dugga boy and nobody else to get hurt. <laughs> so I thank the Lord for everything he gave us. Yes. Yeah, we spotted a couple of bulls early morning, not one that you're looking for. And uh, like you said, we had a lot of rain. Yes. Spotted this bull from yes. almost a mile away and uh, it bedded down in this hillside. So we pulled up all around the hill. We started the stalk right up the hill and me and Otter, the tracker, spotted him about 25 yards away, bedded down. And we got in position yes. and the rest is history. Yes. It took him about 25 minutes to stand up. Yep. And then you put in a shot and here he is. There he is. And congratulations on this monster of a trophy. Oh, yes. Thank you for all everyone's help and coordination. With pleasure. Now it's my yeah. turn. Step aside, please. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 
Beautiful. Oh, that's, him. That's, him. That's, him. that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. That was your boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. He's it, going. Cool. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. He's going to the same house. He's yeah. going to the same house. He's going to wind up in the same room. It doesn't matter. And he's used to me taking his things. Okay. So yeah. That yeah the, the there's. I've had guns, stolen knives. Lives, you know. It's, you, Buffalo. You get used Buffalo. to it. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, man. We uh, we came over this year. The primary objective was to get uh, get. Get two uh, buffalo bulls, and uh, we did. <clears throat> Yesterday, Super and and I were able to to get an old Dougal boy, a true Dougal boy, and today Jan got an absolute brute of a bull. So Jan, today we finally got your buffalo. Yes. We had three days of hard hunting in the mountains. We did. And today the plan came together. Yes. Congratulations on your monster bull, Jan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tim. That's super. It. And I just want to congratulate both of you guys on two wonderful buffaloes. And the buffalo is going to the right place, Apple Valley. Congratulations and a big toast on the great aunt. Cheers! Cheers! And even the smoke will already That's right, right. yeah! <laughs> All right, good morning. Uh, we've got two uh, young apprentice professional hunters with us. They're, uh, anyway, to, to my right is Ian. He's uh, very familiar with the farm. He's been here really pretty much all his life. And to his right is CJ. I'm gonna ask uh, Ian to explain what, uh, what being an apprentice professional hunter means, uh, how it works, and uh, he'll, he'll describe that. And uh, CJ is going to tell us uh, what we're going to do today. Thank Ian. you, Tim. Um, yeah, so, well, professional hunt apprenticeship. Um, it's after you finish your professional hunting course. Um, you have to do a few days practical in order to learn more, obviously. Um, so, yeah, the apprentices or the appies do most of the grunt work, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually, most of the work. <laughs> um, Going to get in trouble for that, but yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, we do the you know, the basic stuff, you know, um, making sure the cooler bags are ready um, for the day, packed with cool drinks, water and stuff, um, handling the guns, being the gun bearers. Um, yeah, basically anything. So as you're, as you're going through the, 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 we'll call it the practical application, I mean, you've got the You've got the taking care of the client part, the the cool boxes, the mm. guns, the you know helping, exactly. whatnot. But there's there's much more involved with that, with the practical part. You've got, uh, as as I, as I think I understand it, you're learning from the veteran professional hunters yes. about judging animals in the field, yeah, definitely knowing what a good uh, what a good animal yes. looks like, what a, one one that's too young. Mm. Uh, you, you've really got to do all of that. Mm. And uh, that <clears throat> you can't learn that obviously you can't learn that in a classroom. Yeah. No, so that's no. A, I no, think no, no. from the, the the perspective of the client, I think that's one of the most important parts about the about the apprenticeship is being teamed up with with good veteran professional hunters yes. who uh, 
who have been through the same program Definitely. you have, but have years of experience in the field, and they, then they can pass that along. Mm, getting that experience yeah. that other people, you know, have built up, yeah. passing on, passing it on to us. So that's uh, a the critical phase of, the, of earning your license, uh, and then being able to take clients on your own. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so CJ, what are we going to do today here? Uh, we're at the range, we're going to shoot some big guns, and uh, going to check if we can shoot some guns. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 416 Rigby. <laughs> um, soft, soft point, soft point, 400 again, soft point. The buffalo is running! There was no dust in the back. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, oh. Just, just shooting. Ampor. Fine. 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 <laughs> My thing is, I accidentally started. Damn, you want a shot? <laughs> oh, just, just load, like sure, yeah, just, just load. Load. I mean. Okay, Tim, we just spotted a massive uh, red gong. It's in its prime. <laughs> let's go take it down. All right, let's go get him. Okay, we're opening up. Take him on the shoulder. On the shoulder. Oh! I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, finished, we just finished up here at the range. Uh, verified that our, uh, our bolt guns are shooting where we want them to. Um, it's very important part of the uh, part of the thing is to make sure that the, the rifles are on. They are. So now we're going to go out. We're going to go hunting. Um, Nikas and Jan are hunting a big sable bull, and uh, Super and I are going to go out and look for a lechwe and um, enjoy the rest of the day. It's great to be here. We're out uh, on a little bit of a rise. I think there's some, uh, looks like some eland, maybe some hartebeest, possibly some springbuck a little bit closer. Uh, we're over here looking for uh, a lechwe bull. It's kind of windy right now, so probably bedded down, but uh, we're gonna see when we find him and then uh, make a plan. Let's go have a look at the bottom here. Lots of warthogs. We just spotted a very, very, very big springbuck male. Um, I want to see if I can get lucky on him. So let's see if we can get lucky. Okay, there he goes.
bust through his shoulder. He was slightly quartering away to us, so I tried to aim here for the wind. <coughs> when, when he took off, he was doing this. So you got that, you got the good part. Let's go have a look. Shall we? Shall we? I shall carry the stick. Thank sir. you very much, sir. My pleasure, sir. I am shaking like a leaf. You should be. That is a boy <laughs> <fireboy> springbok. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I tell you, I had to control myself. Dude, if you I'm st I still, I am still shaking. <laughs> you gotta shake a little more here in a minute. That's all I can say. Yeah, so this springbok uh, almost gave us a slip. Came around, get the wind was standing behind the bush very a long time and uh, took out a rangefinder, get one of the bushes close to him at the range just 250 meters and uh, so he came out again slightly quartering towards us I see the bullet hit exactly where I was aiming I did aim a little bit to the right about two inches for the wind and this is my price with grandpa's rifle Seven millimeter Weatherby, spot on. All right, so yeah, we came down the mountain. We spotted this beautiful springbok male and uh, I couldn't say no. We jumped out of the vehicle, stalked it. Jacob saw him again. I was thinking I was going to go up in the valley, it didn't. It turned in front of the valley, in f just in, in front of the hills. I was on my nerves, big time. The wind was blowing. Yeah, eventually it came out, 250 meter shot, and I got him with Grandpa's rifle, a 7 millimeter Weatherby, spot on, and this is what we got. Thank you very much for borrowing me the rifle to take the springbuck. My pleasure. Good morning, it's hunting day eight on our uh, safari here in South Africa. You can see behind me the skinning shed is all uh, clean and ready to receive the animals that uh, we hope to bring in today. And also uh, behind me you can see that the professional hunters, the, uh, the apprentice professional hunter making final preparations for us to go out, going after uh, Lechwe. I'm going after Lechwe this morning and uh, Jan's going after a big sable bull we spotted yesterday afternoon. Uh, we just spotted a Nice sable bull down here. The wind is not in our favor, but at least we got the sun in our favor. So we're gonna go closer and see if it's a proper bull and if we can get an opportunity on it. Are you ready, Jan? I'm ready. Let's do it. Us. 
yards away. Yeah, so you just put a right on the shore. I'm gonna put you up, set you up, let you see. Then I'll whistle and if he stands up and gets broadside, you take the shot. ravine so we will have a look if he pops up but I don't I don't think he's okay let's go but you, your gun is on safe the gun's on safe Thank you. Come on over. Hey, we're on our way. We're on our way. side but this is quite a good good bull let's let's dress him up and take some nice photos Has found him for me and we got the shot placement told me where to put it hold and we got him high he lung is a monster about 135 yards and he probably ran 100, 100 yards, yards yeah, 100, 100 yards 110 yards and dropped and down he went and down he went welcome Tim oh my gosh oh man I can't get up without a hand <laughs> oh, what a man Oh, man, he's beautiful. What a ball. Look how dark he is. Well, we got an early start this morning. It rained last night, so everything was beautiful, uh, but a little, little wet. Um, the bulls were starting to come out of their hiding places for night, and we saw them on the side of the hill. Um, Nika said we were going to get one of those. We'd see which one was the best one, and uh, he found this one. We walked about a mile, um, got me in range, 135 yards, and took a shot when he said to, and he ran about a hundred yards and dropped.
Okay. From all of us over here. Yes. And Reiki, especially you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We would like to uh, give you a present for Mother's Day. From all of us. <laughs> Something special from all of us. And uh, thank you for having uh, a Mother's Day in South Africa. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of my extra <laughs> sons. And uh, new members of the family, it's been wonderful to be here. It's to, the, the, I just can't, there's not enough superlatives. It's beautiful land, it's beautiful animals, it's beautiful people, it's beautiful atmosphere in the lodge, and nobody should miss it if they can get over here. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's wonderful. We're going for a jackal this morning. Yeah, the plan is to do some predator control this morning. We're gonna hike up a mountain halfway up and uh, use a caller and see if we can get a couple of jackal for you. Yes. And help the little babies antelope grow That's up. That's right. So let's see what happens. Okay. After you. Thank you. So we are here, we're looking for a lechwe. It's Sunday morning, I hope we can find a good lechwe. There's a le nice lechwe bull staying in this area. Um, if we don't find him, we'll go down the ridge and see if we can find another one. Okay, let's have a good hunt. We're just gonna go have a look, see if there's not a, a shootable bull. Oh.
Right there. I heard a hell of a flop. <laughs> Are you serious? On the spot. On the spot. That's an awesome shot. Thank you. It took me uh, a couple of seconds to calm down. Just a little. That's the bullet. That's your first bullet? Yeah, it went in over there or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. That's why it dropped. But you see, look, it's a fully mature male. Hard by the basis. Hard work paid off. It is, uh, this is the third day we're actually hunting Lichwe. Two days we rained out. Yesterday we tried, but we still got stuck. Today we was out in the bush full time. Uh, we were looking for this specific bull for two days now. Couldn't find him. Went to look for other ones. We got a lot of young ones, but not shooters. And uh, this afternoon we took a big drive and see if we can find other ones. Also still young ones. And I said, well, last hour, last minute, Let's see if we can find this guy. So we came back to this uh, area and uh, we spotted him by the dam. He ran off and uh, on the sticks, Tim made a brilliant shot. And the results is yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, I want to express a lot of gratitude to a whole bunch of people. Um, one of the people I want to express a great deal of gratitude to is uh, Martin Miller of African Sun Productions because the, uh, the memories of these hunts, uh, the record that he makes for us is absolutely priceless and uh, very, very grateful. I'm also grateful to the guy to my right, uh, Super Moritz, who uh, lives up to his name on a daily basis, and uh, Yanni Auto Safaris for organizing all this stuff. I'm just, I'm just awestruck. It's just a magnificent, magnificent animal, and I'm deeply grateful. Even if it doesn't drop. He can reach anywhere on the table. Stop, stop, stop! No! <laughs> yes! This is technical stuff now, This is technical. Oh, the
Okay, Jan. The plan for today is a, a nice springbok. Okay. See if we can get you onto a 16-inch springbok. Sounds good. And uh, that's the last animal on your list. Yes. And then if we get lucky, the jackal beat us yesterday. There you go. But let's see what happens today. Outstanding. Yeah. With the jackal. Yeah. So let's see what happens today and okay. get onto the springbok nice and early. There's a springbok male there. I want to get to those trees there and see if we can get closer. Super shot, such a big thing. Yeah. Now everything looks so small. <laughs> oh, but I'm so happy for it. Yeah, that's a monster. Yeah, that male's gonna come. That male just entered the herd there. Okay. So he's gonna come down here. So let's just wait. Remember when we said this morning, yes. stick bases and stick those bases hooks? And the hooks, and he's got them. He's, he's a he's good, a very good, good. Nice Rock on. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. That's a big pleasure. Thank you. Okay, so this morning we set out with a main goal uh, for a big spring buck. Yep. As we drove in the camp, we said we're not looking for total length 
We're yep. looking for nice hooks on it, nice thick, ba thick bases. Yep. Uh, early morning we spot a nice ram. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. And then we stalked up a little hill at the back there, spotted this guy, and uh, Jan placed a good shot on him. And it's the perfect one with the beautiful hooks. Yes. Unbelievable hooks on him. Old male. And congratulations, Jan. Thank you very much. It's a big pleasure. It's a big pleasure. Hey, hey babe, uh, just got a message that you got a spring buck this morning. And uh, I'm excited. Good shooting. You uh, you did what we do when, uh, when we part company. You picked a spot and you shot the kill. Good girl. Proud of you. Let's get behind this bush. That's a problem. Side. There's three on the right hand side. I can always see two. Okay. One is looking away and one is standing broadside. The one standing broadside is a black female. The one looking away looks like the copper male. Okay, I see him. There's one on the far right. Looks like it looks like a female face to the right. And there's one looking toward us. No. One with its head down. The one that just turned his head to the right. This one that just turned his head to the right. Baby is walking on the far right. 
He's in that area. Okay, you got him. You got him to give him time. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you very much. Good shot. Thank you. It was, I don't know, a couple hundred, maybe? Uh, just over a hundred. They were just feeding here. Yeah. Sure felt water, man. <laughs> yeah. He's big, super. Nice, my love. Oh, man. And a good shot. Thank you. Good shot. I was talking to myself. No, you, you Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Excellent. I love it when they go back like that. Beautiful. Look at his face. Old male. All scarred up. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. This afternoon, it worked out perfectly. Uh, we went out of the camp and we spotted a copper buck and a black spring buck. And we got off the truck and we stalked them, but we never found them. And then Nikas called me and said, I think it's time for you to come back. Because he just, between a big herd of females, a male came in. So we went back and had a slow stalk. And um, this male disappeared again. And uh, the female started to feed, and this bi big boy came back, and they made a great shot uh, right behind the shoulder, and the rest is history. And we finished our Grand Slam. Yes, we did. We uh, Super got started the uh, Star of Slam ten years ago, and uh, we got. Uh, we started with a uh, just a monster black, and then a nice white. Later on, got a got a really nice common, and then there was kind of a gap where we were hunting where there weren't any color phase color phases, and we came here to uh, to Sandy Mount and found just all the color phases. Saw a white one uh, earlier this morning, tons and tons of common and uh, black and copper and this guy um man he's uh he's kind of the copper spring buck of a lifetime he's got beautiful horns old male tips hooked back just like you want um very very grateful that we were able to uh to complete our our spring buck slam together super and i um i want to thank whole ki all kinds of people super and uh, Martin from African Sun Productions and uh, Yadi Otto for uh, organizing the, the safari. To, it's just been a fabulous experience. I'm almost, almost speechless. It's just tremendous. Thank you. Thank you all.
So Jan, yesterday we got a nice common springbok. You only need your black springbok yes. to complete the slam. Yeah. Yesterday Tim completed his slam with a nice copper. Yes. So this morning we're gonna head out to those open flats on the other side there and see if we can get a nice black for you. Sounds good. And then we complete your slam and that will be the end of our safari as well. The last animal on the list. Except the pig. Except, yeah. except Tim's pig. <laughs> Okay, let's do that. Okay. We hope to cross paths with that big pig of Tim, and then we smoke him, and on the way back, we smoke a black, and then uh, I would love to see Tim's reaction <laughs> when we get that big pig he passed on. Springbok is are nice and calm, calm very yeah. calm feeding. Mm -hmm. So we'll just walk down this road, get behind these bushes, okay. head into 100, 120 yard shot. Okay. If we can get to where those female, those two Nyala females are, we have about 130, 140 yard shot. That's good. Okay. Um, but we can get closer. There's a, lo a lot of bush over There's there. Bush, yeah. So that I can see the male chasing, uh, yeah. yeah, chasing the other males around, but. Okay. Once we get there, we'll only know because it's quite they're quite yeah, a distance. They are about six hundred mm -hmm. yards. We'll load it up when we get closer.
180 yards out, but we can close another 100 yards. Shot. Reload. Okay, just get ready, just have a look there by the big black rock. Okay. Just stand still, they have no idea what happened. Very good blackmail, yeah. but it's not those sharp That's hooks we had yesterday. Well, no, it's too different. It's totally, different. Yeah. totally different. Oh, but he's a beaut. He is. Look how Rock pretty. hard. Look how nice it comes oh, up about yeah. two and a half inches. It was a very good oh. hunt. Oh, wait a minute, I'm losing him. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, a, good that was a hunt. great hunt, including yesterday. Yeah. The whole, the whole thing. This was definitely a gung-ho hunt. Perfect stock. We were, went yesterday to try and finish up my uh, slam on the spring buck and we saw several herds. We were unable to connect yesterday. So we planned an early morning today. Um, Nikas found him right away and we picked out, he picked out the one that was the best uh, and he's beautiful. Had a fantastic stock. Um, started 300 yards? No, probably 600. 600 yards Very away fun. and ran a little and walked a little and crawled a little and but went from bush to tree to tree to bush and um, he didn't see us. Uh, we were able to get a shot on him. And here he is, my beautiful black springbok. Yeah, and this completes your, your slam? Yes. On the springbok? Yes. And it's a real nice male. It is. If you have a look, it's got a bit of a hook. Mm -hmm. Nice and old. It's worn down, it's smooth. Yeah. It's got some marks on the face. Yeah. And it was meant to be. And now your safari is all done. Unless we find the pig. Okay. <laughs> so let's go look if you can can get onto that peak <laughs> and uh, get this guy in the salt. Yeah. Congratulations, Jan. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Okay. Now. <laughs> so now we tried to find a warthog and we did not see any, any warthog, so that's disappointing. But we still have a day left. So uh, we're going to have fun now. Yeah. <laughs> because they say what I heard. They ain't flying.
magic with bullets back. <laughs> exactly. So um, we're going to save five of each caliber because we still have a warlock left. But we're going to do some challenging here at the backside. There's a range that go out to 600 meters. And uh, we're going to see who's up for the challenge. Burn some lead. There you go. Powder, not lead. Powder. powder. Burn mm. powder. Standard hour 308 working rifle with a bull barrel and a Redfield 329 by 50 scope. Very standard working gun. We it's will see if all the guns can reach out to 600 meters. I think it's <laughs> impact. That one. Just there. I heard it hit. <laughs> Yeah. Hit! Smoked it! What you have to do? We're at the shooting range. Jan and I have gotten pretty much uh, every animal we came for and more. Um, Jan completed her, her uh, Springbuck Slam this morning. Uh, I completed mine yesterday afternoon. So I came to the shooting range and we're shooting at uh, shooting at gongs, and we're gonna see if uh, I want to shoot one shot at 200, and I'm gonna see if I can hit that 300 meter gong, and then I'm gonna uh, hand the rifle over to the other guys and have them shoot at whatever they want to shoot at. <laughs> so here. Impact dead center. Dead center. All right. So that was 200. Just stop. Stop dead center. Burn a hole. Dead center. Too easy. Smoke. Smoke that 400. Okay, 400. Okay, so right edge. Right edge, three inches high. Oh, couldn't just, see the button. low. Let's take it. Yeah. Dead center, six o'clock. Dead shot. center. Okay. Okay, I'm going to 500. Yeah, so that is the 400. This gun is shooting flat, eh? Yeah, it's very flat. Yeah. Right, fire in the hole. Okay. Got it. Hit! Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out on the last bullet on 500 meters. So, not bad for the old man's gun. He did the job. I heard that. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Got it. Ta-da! Yeah, that is very, very high. This is a 300 WSM with 180 grain Swift A frame bullets. Is this high? Four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Five hundred. Yeah, to the right. right now to the right. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> Just right, to the right. Height is perfect, but to the right. So it's, the wind goes like this. Yeah, there to the right. Oh, it's all over the place. I yeah. could definitely see it go right. But it was either an air shot or a head shot. Yeah. Right. I was on it. We choose the head. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going with the head. I'm going with the head. Yeah. So, every good professional hunter 
has got to be able to shoot a double rifle. So we brought the double rifles. This is a 470 Nitro Express that uh, Super and I have used to uh, kill an elephant and uh, kill a cat buffalo with it a couple days ago, a few days ago. We're going to shoot that. And then we have, there you go, take that. Then we have Mom's 450 400, three inch, also known as the 400 Jeffrey. Super has also used this rifle to kill an elephant. <laughs> so uh, we put up targets there. So I think let's go to 50 meters. Okay, sounds good. And three inch 50s. Three inch 50s? Yeah. Right. So about 70 meters, 450, 400. That gong is charging me. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to eat both and then I have to. <laughs> and you're going to have to stop. Follow up on that. Patata. Papa, flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that must be very close. Your height is perfect. Yeah, you're just to the left on that second shot. Very close. Very is it close. fine? What's that? Do I take it real fine? Yeah, just no, uh, no. Oh, la, la. No, no, no. I have to guess. You must guess. <laughs> Just underneath it. Just to yeah. the right. We are around it. That was that. But this is pretty much lacquer. Oh, close. Let's end the game. Last two. Let's end the game. Okay. What I have a good excuse. Two? This gun is short for me. So. Mm. There's the excuses. Yeah, really. How's that thing fit you? Snake left every time. Your height's perfect. Just low. Okay, Just I'm in the game. <laughs> we are around it. Just under. Oh, That's in the same hole. Oh, close. Damn close. <laughs> That's in the same hole. But uh, I think it's safe to say. If that were a buffalo charging, it's a dead buffalo. Totally miss. Martin, check on the target. I want to see where I shoot so I can go there. Just left. Oh, it's down! <laughs> Smoke him. Get the dead gong. Somewhere here. Let's see. Alright, I can't. There, no, no, no. I'm looking for the blood trail. Found <laughs> <laughs> it! You found it? How far is that? <laughs> Holy shit! No, that was a solid. That was a solid, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even feel bad. No, you're because gone. this guy is like a...
Oh, magician. <laughs> With a rifle in hand. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Well, you've seen the video of him knocking over that elephant. Okay, Tim and Jan, toast to you guys. It was wonderful to get to know you, and um, we want to celebrate your anniversary and um, Jan, your 17th birthday with you. Thank you very much. Cheers, eh? Cheers. Cheers, Jan. Congratulations. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, Ricky. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. And to the um, American Idol. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. Are you trying to sing English? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Okay, so our local artist and my good friend, Simone, um, wrote a special song for Tim and Jan. Enjoy, go for it. Yeah. <laughs>
Ek weet jy wat die gewone springwok neem nie. Gewoon. Okay, um, Tim, Tim and Jan, tonight we made a special dish for you. Um, your buffalo tail. Oh. So, and then we've got some wartok sausages. Okay. Eland fillets. Um, lamb chops. Potato bake. Um, spinach and uh, pumpkin. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So enjoy your last okay. meal with us. Thank and you, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Our last meal. This is for us. Yes, so far. Oh, so far. Yeah. So not going to be the last meal. <laughs> enjoy. It's uh, Wednesday the 12th of May, 2021, the, uh, the last day of our safari, which started in the Northwest Province and uh, has culminated here in the Free State, uh, sitting, sitting here with tremendous trophies that uh, will last a lifetime, give us a lifetime of memories, and the people that made it possible uh, to my rear is uh, Super Moritz, to Jan's rear is Nikas von Rensburg, they can film for us is uh, Martin Miller of uh, African Sun Productions. We're here, Sandy Mount Park, through the organizational ability of uh, Yachty Auto Safaris, and it has been just an unbelievable adventure, absolutely unbelievable adventure. The, uh, the animals that, uh, that we've seen and been blessed to take are just incredible, um, incredible. And I cannot, uh, or we cannot, express enough gratitude to all the people who made this possible. I just would second what Tim says. We were excited about being able to come here and uh, visit a new place with new people. And um, as it turns out, everything was better than I could have expected it. Um, the terrain changes, the animals change, um, beautiful property, beautiful accommodations, and obviously beautiful trophies. What can I say? Um, 10 years now, <laughs> yep. since we started to hunt together, and uh, all the trips that we've done were all awesome. And I think the 10th year one was even a bigger success than the day we started. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So thank you for using me as a PH for the last, all of the trips in the last 10 years. I appreciate it. And it is an honor for me to guide you guys. Hope there will be much more. Yeah, Jan, this was my first time with you. And I think the trophies speak for themselves. All of the trophies, Tim, yours, this area has exceptional, exceptional trophies. And we've been blessed with a great safari. And we can't wait to have you guys back in 2024 with the whole family, the boys, the daughters, and then we'll get some more trophies of a lifetime. This is the, our appy for the hunt and uh, he packed all the coolers he was with on some buffalo hunts with us and he did a great job <laughs> CJ thank you we are proud of you and one day you will walk in the footsteps of super there and you as well yeah exactly yeah, it was it exactly